Hello, my fifth graders. We are here today with a lesson that's not in our textbook, believe it or not, but it is one of my favorite lessons when it comes to math. Um, and many of you might have heard me talking about this if you're in my class, um, which are the rules of divisibility. These are so much fun. Um, I understand. It's probably not going to be that way for everyone, but oh, they are so great, you guys. The rules of divisibility. Rules of divisibility. And basically, there are some rules for some of our numbers that can tell you if a number is going to be uh, evenly divided by that number. Um, and these rules apply every single time. It is one of the rules. It will work if you do it correctly. Why do I teach this? Um, mainly it has to do with the fact that we're going to be starting fractions and we're going to be reducing a lot of fractions and we're going to be finding factors of numbers and finding a common denominator and knowing these rules of divisibility really, really helps. So we're going to start, well, everything's divisible by one. Okay. So one, we don't do, um, twos, we start with two. So the rule for two is if the last digit is even. And if you don't know what even is, that means if the very last digit is a zero, two, four, six, or an eight, you can divide evenly by two. I do this a lot. I'm really good with dividing by two. So for example, I can have a number three, four, five, six, seven, 345,678. I don't even have to like long divide through two goes into three. I don't even have to do that to know this number will be divisible by two. No remainder because the last digit is even. Done. That number is divisible by two. Of course, your teacher's next question will be, what is it? But um, we're not going to worry about that yet. Two, is the last digit divisible? Threes. <laughs> Threes are my favorite. Threes and nines, technically. Three. Now, this one's bizarre. If you add all the digits and that number is divisible. V I V I S I D I V I S divisible. There's so many eyes. Um, by three. then that, that whole number will be divisible by three. So for an example, if I had the number 1,347, 1,347, I'm gonna add all of the digits. So I would say one plus three plus four plus seven. Well, seven plus three is 10, 14, 15. So when I add all the digits of this number, I get 15. I can then take it one step further and say um, one plus five is six. Six is divisible by three. So this whole number is divisible by three. How bizarre is that? If I add up all the digits of my huge long number and that number is divisible by three, then this number is. So let's go back up here. Um, I've got 10, 20, 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 5 is 13. So I have 10, 20, 33. 33 is divisible by 3. This number is divisible by 3. How crazy is that? Sorry, I'm just, I'm in love with that. The fact that it's so, it's so beautiful, you guys. You add up all of the digits, and if that digit is divisible by three, the whole number is. Perfect. All right, fours. Four is next. Four, four. Four is not as great as three. 
just have to say it. Four is just not as great as three. Four is um, if last two digits are divisible. So if the last two digits of the number are divisible by four, then the whole number is divisible by four. So um, for example, 1,408. This is the last two digits. Eight is divisible by four, so this whole number would be divisible by four. If I had um, 11,000 or 1,100, zero is divisible by four, so that whole number is divisible by four. If I had um, 48, well, 48 is divisible by four, so that whole number is divisible by four. It's not as nice as you when you add them all up. But if you can look at the last two digits and that number is divisible by four, then the whole number is. Now, um, I always run out of room, you guys. I'm gonna have to go to the next page, but I think I can do fives in this tiny little space. Fives, I like fives too. I like the ones where I can just like look at the number and be like, Mwah, you're divisible. It makes it a lot easier. So five is if the last digit is five or zero, that's it. I just have to look at the number and be like, is the last digit a five or a zero? Five is divisible. For example, if I had the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, zero. <laughs> I don't even know what number that is. 1,023,456,720. I don't even have to look at the whole number. That is a big number that I would have to divide by five, but I can just look at this number and that fast be like, oh, there's a zero. Yes, it's divisible by five. That's it. So the rule for five is if the last digit is a five or a zero, sorry, this keeps flashing, then the whole number is divisible by five. Twos, the last digit is even, the whole number is three. You add them all up. If that number is divisible, four is the last two digits. Now, six. I need new color. Colors are the best. Let's go orange. Four, six. Okay, the rule for six is um, divisible by two and three. So if you check off that it was divisible by two and then you check off that's divisible by three, it will also be divisible by six. So why is that important? That's important because you want to be dividing by the largest possible number, not the smallest possible um, for simplifying. So an example of a number. Let's go ahead and do this number. 1,446. Step one, I test the two. Does it end in an even number? Yes. Step two, I test the three. I'm going to add up all the digits. 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6. So crazy that that works. Um, 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 4 is 14. This is, again, 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So 1,446 is divisible by 6. So if I had the number that I used for 3 the first time, which was 1,347, it's not divisible by 2. So this is not divisible by six. It has to have both, um, both of them correct. However, this number that I used for two, 345,678 is even and divisible by three. So that number is evenly divisible by six. Don't even have to do work and I already know it'll work out. All right, seven, I skip. Seven, um, I've always skipped. Uh, it has some weird formula that kind of works, and I can never remember the formula, so it's never really that handy. So, um, to figure out if it's divisible by seven, you just have to divide. Six, seven, eight. Um, I want to say eight is if it's divisible by four and 
two, but I usually skip eight, go straight to nine. Nine is very similar to three, but nine is add all digits and that number is divisible by nine. So instead of is it divisible by three, it's is it divisible by nine. So here we go. Um, we're going to use the number that I used for two. Actually, I made it a little different. Three million four hundred fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty. Great. So now I'm going to add all my digits. This is three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus zero. Great. Six plus four is 10. Seven plus three is 10. Five plus eight is 13. Um, 10, 20, 33, and then add zero, right? 33. Three plus three is six. Okay, so that didn't work. Whoops. For some reason, I did three times three in my head. So, um, we'll just add it to be 33,456,780. Whoops. All right. So we'll add it again. Um, three plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus zero. Um, six plus four is 10, seven plus three is 10, five plus eight is 13, three plus. So I have 10, 20, 36, which is three plus six, which is nine. So nine is divisible by nine. So 33,456,780 will be divisible by nine. Because it ends, um, because it's divisible by nine, it's also divisible by three, and it ends in an even number, so that is divisible by six. The last two digits are 80, so it's divisible by four. The last digit is a zero, so it's divisible by five. So, so far, this number, 33,456, 780, is divisible by everything. You can divide by two, three, four, five, six, and nine. The last one that I do is also one of my favorites, and I know you've heard me say this before, and that is 10. 10 is actually the last one we do. Um, the rule for 10 is last digit is zero. The last digit is zero, it's divisible by 10. So my glorious number here, 33,456,780. It ends in a zero. It's divisible by 10. Those are the rules of divisibility. They are beautiful. They are amazing. They will completely change how you look at numbers. Maybe not. But as soon as I really grasped them, I was so amazed by them. They're so good. So good, you guys. You don't even have to do math and you can tell that the number is divisible. Well, yeah, some, sometimes you have to do a little math, right? Two, five, ten, not so much math. Four, three, six, and nine, a little bit of math. All right, you guys, I will see you for practice in class.